Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 52 of FTB Interactions, where today we have a lot of work to do. Uh, between episodes, I did a ton of crafting. Tons, tons, tons of crafting. All the craftings. Um, I made a bunch of machines, I made a bunch of uh, generators and a voltage battery buffer, and I believe I've got all the stuff I need to build a multi-block distillation tower. At least a smallish one. Um, the distillation tower can be many sizes, and I think the quest book recommends like one that's 12 tall. I think I've got one that's like three or four tall, but making it taller shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, what kind of fun things did I get here as a request? Ooh, a morb for blaze and blazing soup. Mmm, delicious. Sounds unhealthy. Uh, ooh, what's this? Did you check the chemicals tab? I did not. Sorry. I probably should have, but I made an advanced chemical reactor because that's a thing. Uh, all kinds of stuff ready to go today. So my goal today is to get fuel processing up and running in an efficient manner. That said, the goal is as such. I want to get, if I can, eventually empowered oil. Um, now, in order to get empowered oil, we're going to need empowered canola seeds, which need HV chemical reactors. Did I make that one? I forget. Uh, turbo diesel, high voltage. I don't know if I did the HV. I did make the advanced. Okay, cool, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna put that in this chest for now. Boop. Maybe I'm going to put it down here so it's nice and obvious where it is, right? Everything else is MV tiered, right? Um, except for my battery buffer and, and diesel gens. Uh, so the goal is to eventually get to empowered oil, but we can't get there until we make empowered canola seeds, which need HV power, which we can't have until we get started. So we're going to start with um, crystallized canola seeds, uh, and we can get a little bit of power kick-starting us into the HV age with some existing fuel that I've got. And then we're going to hopefully automate to the point where we've got uh, a repetitive source of empowered canola oil, right? So here's the process, right? Uh, in order to get uh, oil, we throw a crystallized canola seed into a mixer, and that's going to get us crystallized oil, uh, which can be distilled into light fuel or heavy fuel. Sounds boring because it is. Uh, that said, but once we mix it up with some empowered canola seeds, which we just saw the recipe for, a little bit of starlight, a little bit of infinity dust, uh, and crystallized canola, we get 32 empowered canola seeds per infinity dust and bucket of starlight. So that is not bad by any stretch. We just need that HV tier, right? And, and automating infinity dust is something we'll look at later. For now, we're just going to get like a bunch of it and, uh, you know, have it in stock for, uh, the hopefully foreseeable future, right? That will turn uh, a bucket of crystallized oil into two buckets of empowered oil. So we'll get lots of oil out of that. Uh, that stuff can be turned into diesel, sulfuric naphtha, or gas. Um, or it can be turned into all three in a distillation tower, which is kind of the plan. And that also needs MV tier power. So we're gonna have that up and running. Um, so note that these things, uh, a distillation tower can be used for quite a few things. I guess let's look at diesel here in a distillation tower. Uh, empowered oil, 50 to 90. I guess that's about it. Okay. I thought oil could also do this. What about sulfuric naphtha? Um, sulfuric naphtha can come from oil or empowered oil, right? And then sulfuric gas can come from oil. So it's 150 to 240 or 50 to 80, sounds about right. Um, so yeah, definitely empowered oil is the way to go here, right? I feel like empowered oil, we're being directed to go ahead, make empowered oil, distillation tower it into these three sources of fuel, right? Diesel, sulfuric naphtha, and sulfuric gas. I'm suspecting many of these will be needed at some point, but all three of them can be used for fuel. So diesel can be used in a diesel generator, right? Total of 480 EU per millibucket. Okay, sulfuric naphtha can be used in a gas turbine, right? Um, total of 160 EU, right? Um, and then sulfuric gas can also be used in a gas turbine, right? So there's a few of these turbo gas turbines. Is that what I made? I'm pretty sure it is. Turbo diesel generators. Oh, well, I made diesel generators. That's fine. Um, that's going to use our diesel, right? So like basically turn diesel in a diesel generator into HV power. If we wanted to use these two, probably sulfuric gas, because that's the better one, uh, for, for power, we would get a gas turbine, right? And we might look at that at some point in the future, right? There's also a large gas turbine. Sounds fun. I assume that's a big multi-block. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 
Sounds like fun. Um, and then as we progress through the HV age, we're going to eventually get to the point where we're going to want to go to outer space. And you guys know Dyer loves his space mods, right? Like that's a thing Dyer loves. So we're going to be doing that. So anyway, the plan is thus. We need to um, get ourselves a source of crystallized canola, right? So that's just canola seeds that grow outside. We've got a bunch of them uh, in mineral resin. Now, mineral resin can come from centrifuging mineral crystals, which come from compressing mineral enriched eggs, which you might notice boop, we've got up here. Hello, friend. So that's kind of the plan. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So let me go grab a few mineral enriched eggs over here. We've got a lot of them, um, you know, a lot of them. I should probably just avoid them at this point, but we'll get started. So first things first, we are going to get the mineral resin, which is centrifuged, right? Um, and I'm thinking we'll just set this whole line up here, right? So step one will be um, compressing these guys, right? So we're going to want our compressor here. So I've got an MV compressor, advanced compressor. Hey, buddy, you're going to go dare. Um, and there's probably a few pipes and other things we're going to need, right? Uh, we're going to want some conduits. Let's get like 10 energy fluid conduits. Um, do we have a supplier logistics pipe? Yeah, let me get like a few of you and logistics fluid supplier. And logistics fluid provider. We're missing paper. One of these days I'll have this properly automated, but you know. We'll just kick off all the craftings at least. Um, and then we'll come back for all this stuff in a sec. So we've already got a supplier logistics pipe. Perfect. So your job will be to supply this dude with 32. Here comes the eggs. Good times. Zoop, zoop, zoop. At some point I should just like run this down here instead of all the way over there, down and all the way back. But hey, you know. So that's cool. Wow, that's actually really fast. Beautiful. Beautiful how fast that is, right? I love it. Um, now you're going to output into the centrifuge right here. And you, I'm going to want to have um, output to the adjacent, right? So it's not the pump, but I think it's the conveyor. Is that what we want? Yeah, conveyor module. That sounds fun. I think that's what I want. So I do that, and then he should start dumping his mineral crystals into here. These guys are going to get sawdust and plant balls, which is cool. And then it's also going to get mineral resin and methane. Now, what I'd like to do is pump out the methane. Um, so what I've got here is a fluid filter and this guy. See, I was pretty ready for this. I was pretty ready for this. So the methane we're going to want to basically void, right? Um, so what I'm going to do here is configure this with a fluid filter of methane. Okay. And you will extract always. So what that should do is start voiding the methane, right? And then we're going to fill up with a bunch of mineral resin. Cool beans, right? And then the mineral resin uh, is going to adjacently pump into uh the chemical bath which is here okay and so you're going to want to pump hooray and your pump's job actually i'm not going to have you there just yet i want you and i want the screwdriver so i can specify the whitelist and all that stuff right screwdriver is how i do that I want to say it's the screwdriver. Boop. So you're going to have a fluid filter. We want to make sure that methane never lands in there, right? I don't know that it would, but I feel like it would be something we want to prevent, right? So let's grab that fluid filter that we made previously. Okay. And because this is like an infinite resource, I'm not going to sweat, you know, keeping a certain amount in stock, right? So you're going to want to be mineral les resin, that stuff. Uh, ba doop ba doop Oh, right. I think you go there. Yeah. The, the thingy is just in a weird spot, right? But you, yeah, you get the, you get the point, right? Um, so you're only allowed to export mineral resin into 
Uh, not the high voltage battery buffer, but the chemical bath. Boop. Hooray, mineral resin. Cool beans. Um, so then you're gonna get an unrouted pipe here because you don't actually need nothing. Then we're gonna have a supplier pipe right here uh, in a moment once I get supplier pipes. Hey, there you are. Thank you. And your job, supplier logistics pipe, will be to keep in stock 64 of these bad boys. Uh, and then you will probably also have a provider pipe. Didn't I make normal provider pipes? Fluid provider, fluid supplier, supplier. Did I not make regular provider pipes? I might not have. Well, nothing hurts. All right, and then you're gonna keep the canola seeds in stock. Now I believe, I believe, I believe that canola seeds are not something that we have in high supply connected to any kind of logistics chassis. Like this chest is not connected to the logistics network. So how do I want to do that? Do I want to have like a drawer of canola seeds that we draw from? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Or a barrel it's called, right? Yeah, barrel. Hey, we have a barrel. Sweet, gimme. And since you're making provider pipes, which I super appreciate, um, put you in there, I don't need you for the moment. Uh, I use a lot of stainless steel. So this thing is, you know, making a, a, a surplus and I had to turn off a machine or two because they were just chewing up too much power. Um, but yeah, you're gonna come down here, Mr. Barrel. Um, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, I think I'll have the barrel here. We're probably gonna want, yeah. Let's instead, do I have like a basic chassis? I do. Perfect. So provider go in there with this guy. Give me that chassis pipe that I've got sitting around. Um, I would like Mr. Barrel Friend to chill right there with that. And you guys can go in there. And for now, I'm going to just manually do that. But very shortly, I'll wind up doing something smarter. You'll see. I'll do like automated farming something something, right, is the plan. Um, and then uh, what we want is our chisel to make a provider card. Provider module. And then also a polymorphic item sync module. Okay. So now he's going to provide and accept all canola, right? So if I grabbed a stack of canola, for example, and turned you into seeds, which is easy peasy. Okay. Uh, and sorted you by doing this, they should wind up 264, nice. And then those seeds landed in here and you are choking on power? Probably because, how you doing? Uh, you guys are all busy, aren't you? You're done. You're getting done. You're hurting a little bit on power though, yes. Mostly probably because of this guy being so busy. But that's okay. We're gonna move our electric blast furnace into uh, HV tier at some point. This thing's really power hungry, right? Effectively is, is what's happening. So soon we're gonna move him to HV once we have HB power supplies, right? Um, and that'll A, speed him up, and B, take the pressure off our MV power lines. Right, because these guys are just not able to keep up with the demands of that thing running as much as it has been for all the stainless steel that I need. Now, on fairness, um, you know, I used a lot to make these guys. These guys are like all stainless steel. It's like stainless steel frame and stainless steel plates, just lots and lots of stainless steel was needed for the distillery. So that's why it took so much. But in a minute or two, this guy should be done processing his last four stainless steel dust. And then these guys should all come to life. And we're going to get um, our crystallized canola oil, which is cool beans. Now, um, after that crystallized canola oil, what we're going to want is another chemical is a, is a mixer right so you're making chemical bath makes crystallized canola so now we want a mixer of oil and crystallized canola seeds 
right? So you're gonna be a mixer, boop. Uh, and then we're gonna have the, let's have another conveyor for you. Request. And then let's also have, uh, how do we wanna do this? Cause we're gonna wanna put that in there. So I think the conveyor is good. What I'm also gonna do is grab my existing crystallized canolas. So that at least we kickstart this guy pretty well. And then you're gonna boop that. So any crystallized canola that you make will automatically just right into here, right? And then the crystallized canola seeds will mix with oil. So we're going to need a logistics fluid supplier. So I need you to supply oil Sixteen buckets worth. Does that sound cool? Now we don't have oil yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tank. Can you get me all those things? You can. Thank you, sir. Craft away, and then we're also going to get a GPS marker, and this guy. What I'm thinking is, call me crazy. Where should I have my like fluids accumulating at? Maybe up here? Does that sound like a cool place? Can I like hook into a line somewhere that makes sense here-ish? Like maybe I should put a tank here. And then we can have like an unrouted logistics pipe that goes, eh, I don't like that. Cause you should realistically be this. Yeah, now you're a basic, right? Perfect, that I, that I will take. And then you're going to have a fluid provider pipe. Boop. You're gonna have a GPS marker. And then we're gonna pop out to a place we haven't been in about 20 or 30 episodes. Real well. Hello. GPS marker, you. Notice how the oil just poofed right out of the thing. Goodbye, oil. Guess where it went? Right up there. And look what's happening. All the oil is coming down here. Ta-da! And he's working. Look, crystallized oil. Booyah. How cool is that? Now, shortly, that crystallized oil will be dumped adjacently into another mixer that will get the empowered canola seeds, right? So like, maybe we should just put that down now because I've got that mixer ready to go too. Yeah, yeah, see? And then we're gonna do boop and then you with a pump again. And like, he, people keep telling me, I think there's a way to make it so that I don't actually need the pumps, right? But at the same time, I wanna make sure, cause it's like the side. So I think if I rotated this guy, we could just do that. But I kind of like the pump mechanic. I don't know, it's probably a waste of resources, but also like the resources ain't that bad. Right, so that's pretty cool, right? And then we're gonna supplier pipe empowered, so active supplier logistics pipe, empowered canola seeds, boom. Now you don't have any empowered canola seeds in the system because we need to craft those with HV power. So we ain't there yet, but we will get there soon. This is all prep for our upcoming stuff. So now let's also get um, our high voltage battery buffer. You're gonna go effectively, I think this is where I want you to be, right? Yeah, right about there. Um, but we're gonna wrench you with, I wonder if this wrench works, I should test that. But at the very least, we need the Greg Tech wrench for something, I presume, right? But can I wrench you like this? Haha, <laughs> I can, nice. I hope that works. And then into you go the 16 large sodium batteries that we've got. And then we're gonna want that signalum stuff, right? And let's get, you know, the four, because we've got four, I think we can pull this off. Let's get signalum, let's get like, I think four should be enough for you, right? Yeah, request. Hooray, quest completed, signalum cable, yay! Uh, so now what I want is my four turbo diesel drones. Uh, and I've got some diesel cells, which I got, what did I get from this? Uh, congrats on automating diesel fuel. Yay, that was me. Um, so I've got some diesel, and if I need to, 
I can make more diesel um, with a distillery and empowered oil. Empowered oil? Or I can mix the light and heavy fuel from crystallized oil. That seems like a lot of hassle though. Like I think it's a lot easier to get empowered going. So my goal will be to get HV power started using these guys. So what we're gonna have is much like you guys, we're gonna have, oh. yeah, you're not ideally laid out, are you? I didn't do a great job with this, did I? Um, Cause what we should have is a tank You're not in a wonderful position, are you? You're really not. C-E-U-M-V, C-E-U-M-V. I mean, I, I appreciate your existence. Look, I honestly do, but also you're just not in a great position right now, so I need to move you. So I'm excited that I have Blaze. I'm excited for you and C-E-U-M-Vs, trust me. Oh, and my Blaze data model. Don't want to lose that. That thing's pretty powerful. Um, and this is an advanced diesel gen. That's the MV tier, I believe, right? Um, it better be because this would have blown up the wire if it wasn't. Um, so what we want here then is, I mean, ideally I would have done this, but I don't like that guy touching. So let's do it. Let's move you up one. Does that seems smart. I think that seems smart. That looks good to me. Boop, boop, boop. And then I can just run these guys. One, two, three, four. With the turbo diesel gens. Like that. Now you can have some fuel. And you can have some fuel. And that's probably all that I have in that steel drum. Because it's 16 buckets at a time. So those two will start and we'll get the ball rolling, right, on diesel generator. Um, can I put oil in there? Like, hey, you oil steel cell, do you go into a diesel gen? You do, actually. So if I really got desperate, I could throw this oil in there, too, in those four. But I'm not that desperate yet. 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 So now what we want is you guys, and I feel like I'm going to need more Signalum cable, so let me get, like, how about 24? Yay, I have enough for that. Good, make it so. Uh, so while that's crafting, let's be prepared for what's going to be one of our first doohickeys, which is gonna be you coming in here. Right, because this is gonna be fully automated style, right? So, Okay, but then instead of going up and across that line, which is going to be eventually what we do, um, we're going to go back here. Okay. Kind of like this one did. So what do you do? Just run an HV cables underwater unprotected. Don't mind me. Wow, perfection, huh? How great is that? We just, we had exactly enough cabling. I love it. Now my HV doohickey, which is going to need, where did I put my buddy? Advanced chemical reactor, that's you. Right, yeah, that's the HV tier chemical reactor, who's going to be whoop, getting power. Yay, look at all that HV power. Now he's gonna make empowered oil, right? So he's going to, or empowered seeds, empowered canola seeds. So what he's gonna do is keep in stock crystallized canola seeds and infinity dust, okay? So what we're gonna want is a supplier logistics pipe here that's going to say, 64 of you and infinity dust, let's say eight, right? And then also 
to make this. We're gonna need liquid starlight, which I don't think we have in supply just yet, but I think we could we could probably make that a thing that happens, right? That shouldn't be hard to automate. Uh, so we're gonna want a fluid supplier module, logistics fluid supplier, okay? And then you're gonna need a basic logistics pipe. And then you're going to need an unrouted logistics pipe. Boom, boom, boom. So are you, sir, you've got those. So let's do a provider pipe back here for you. Crafting logistics pipe. I asked for provider pipes. They are here. All right. So you're making the canola seeds for me, right? No, wait. You're making the crystallized canola seeds. Right, 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 right. And these guys need crystallized canola seeds, right? So these guys are double duty, right? Number one, they're making crystallized oil, but number two, they need to be used um, to make this stuff, right? So what we're gonna wanna do is provider pipe on you, right? And then you're providing these guys, okay? That's cool beans. Yeah, I'll just go put them down here. I should get that lock doohickey. Where's that key? There he is. There you are, sir. Okay. So now you're going to keep making... So once you're full of crystallized can oil, which shouldn't be much longer, right? Maybe I shouldn't have double tapped that so hard. Can I borrow an MV? Are you getting... Yeah, you're getting there. All right. So once this fills up, and we've got this back stuffed on crystallized canola. Remaining canola, seed, canola seeds will make their way over to there. See it going? And they're going to land in here for the keeping stock of that. Nice. Now we just need the infinity dust and the liquid starlight, which is cool beans. Um, so then for that, I'm thinking we're going to want like an oil tanker doohickey there. Because I've got, I've got the chicken making the astral enriched eggs. So automating that shouldn't be hard. I think this needs line of sight to the sky though, doesn't it? So what if we moved these dudes? Okay, you stay there Liquid Starlight, but I'm gonna go back here. I'd very much appreciate a tank. Um, so like, let's get another tank. That's right, I added you to like the how to craft list, but I remember you getting stuck when I tried to craft you. I thought I removed you from the how to craft list. What's uh, what's going on, strangers? You're getting there, you're 20 signal them, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so we'll get a tank for this dude. And this will supply liquid starlight to our logistics pipe system, okay? So the way this is going to work is going to be pretty straightforward and cool, right? We're going to take this buddy. How's my inventory looking? Eh, not great, not terrible. Astral chicken. Okay. But you're going to be here, and the starlight collectors will be there. And that sounds fun, right? So what we're going to have is you're going to go here. You're going to have a fluid provider pipe, boop, okay, you're going to have a, hopefully these guys don't connect pipe, advanced mechanical, I don't think they will, ah, they do, bummer, uh, that's all right, I kind of want you up here anyway, so you're going to go, like that, and we're going to want one more advanced mechanical, which I think we might have.
We don't have any of that stuff. Rip. Uh, that's all right. We've got conduits. Uh, we will get five of those. So we'll use these conduits instead. Okay. So you guys instead... How's that look? Cool. All right, so you're gonna chill right here, Mr. Lightwells, and you're gonna start um, with the roost. We should get some item conduits. Just give me 10, it's quicker. Okay, so you start making the eggs, which it's slow, but we could always like ramp this dude up if we felt we needed him faster. I just don't think we need him that much faster, right? But he's gonna start making that, and then we will item conduit you guys. Boop, boop. Can you not item conduit into the that? I feel like there's a way. So not a light, eh, there's gotta be a way to automate this, right? I think he has to go into the bottom. Looks like item conduits work in the bottom. All right, so then let's move you back one. How's that sound? You go into dare. I'm just gonna trash these two. And we're just gonna make sure that this works, obviously, right? So you're gonna go there. You're going to be extract always active. Your items will be insert, not extract. Hooray, it's working. Your items will be insert, not extract. Hooray, it's working. You will be fluid wise, will be not insert. Extract always active. You will be fluid wise, not insert. Extract always active. This will get covered up. And now you are making liquid starlight. How cool is that? See, this is what I really like about this pack is like everything that you really need to automate, there's a good way to do it. And it's not like, it's all about building the automations up, right? So that is cool beans right there. Okay, so now you've got the fluid provider pipe you're going to get some liquid starlight once we've got enough, right? So we're going to want starlight, liquid starlight, times a thousand. Let's keep eight buckets of liquid starlight in here, okay? Now, I think his min mode is one bucket, which means he will only transfer a full bucket at a time. So once this guy hits a bucket worth of liquid starlight, which, you know, since we're impatient... At some point, he should extract and be like, ooh, a bucket, and he'll make the thing happen, right? It's pretty cool, I would think. Let's go. Did I connect you? I did connect you. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get there. Let's get the infinity dust, because <clears throat> that's the last step. All right, so what I'm going to get is two of these dudes. Ashes and grains of infinity. Boop, 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 boop. And that should get me two infinity dust. Now, there's a better way to automate this, right? The gist of the story is automating infinity needs grains of infinity. Um, so there's a quest about it. Right click to open the quest window. Oh, that didn't really work. Um, there's a quest about it, but basically speaking, um, these are obtained from mobs that respond with infinity dust. Remember way early on in the series, if you place infinity dust on the ground, it spawns mobs. And if you kill those mobs, they will drop infinity dust, uh, grains of infinity. Now the grains of infinity that the drop from the mobs can go into a light well to make liquid nightmares. Those liquid nightmares can make a significant amount of infinity dust, which is used to spawn the mobs, right? So you right click the ground with infinity dust, mobs will spawn that drop grains of infinity that 
are used in a light well to collect liquid nightmares to make more infinity dust. So it's a repeating pattern. Um, and then we will get excess infinity dust, which we can use for this. So we'll look at doing that mob spawner setup dude in a bit. Um, but for now, what I'm gonna do is pop you guys in here and you should immediately be pulled out because there's a supplier pipe that needs you. Hooray. Now, why are you being silly about liquid starlight? Um, could you liquid starlight? Do we just not have enough? Cause I could do partial yes, right? Let's do partial yes. And that should, yeah. Because I turned on partial mode, he's like, oh, I'll just take what I can get, which is good enough for me to make, you guessed it, some beautiful stuff. Empowered canola seeds. Booyah. Now, um, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is turn that into a chassis pipe up there. I think would be smart. So give me a basic chassis, the red one. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is take you guys, we're gonna do an active supplier module and a provider module. Okay. And you don't look like you have that much more time spent to make that stuff. But what we're gonna do is change it up so that instead of you being a supplier, you're now going to be both of these. So you can both provide, um, and you can provide empowered canola, right? And you will active supply 32. And eight, cool. So now you can provide the empowered canola that we need, uh, which is cool. And, oh look, you're working, beautiful. Look at that, empowered oil, booyah. Which can now be fluid supplier provided to the whole network. How cool beans is that? I'm gonna say very cool beans. All right, so we have now automated fully throughout this episode empowered oil. How great boop, is that? Uh, I would say very great. I would say that is super cool. Okay, so we've got a little bit of HV power going. Actually, I'm going to say a lot of HV power going. Thank you very much. Uh, courtesy of just two little diesel gens. So we've got a lot of power sitting here ready to go for the HV line, but we're going to want to fully automate this. And that's what's going to happen next episode. So now that we've got the empowered oil, yay, uh, which by the way, looking at my quest book, uh, I have no idea how much of this I should have been getting by hand so that I can be like, yay, I did the quest. But um, an empowered oil cell, empowered task of 64 of those dudes. Do I have 64, Andy? No, nah, I need a little bit more. What I'll do is I'll get more grains of infinity over here, which shouldn't be a big deal. And uh, yeah, that should be fine. And then I can just knock out the quest, right? And uh, empowered oil cell, I think I've got, I've got you, crystallized oil cell. Can I like clear you somehow? You know what I could do? I could probably put you in here, right? Yeah. Goodbye. Ah, that's how I avoid. That's how I avoid fluids. That's my fluid. That's my avoiding fluids trick. Boom. Empowered oil. Now, can you go directly into a diesel generator? You can go into a distillery, but you can't go into a diesel gen. But hey, that's a quest complete, so yay. All right, what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here. We will come back next time, and we'll build the multi-block distillery that will allow us to distill the empowered oil into diesel, sulfuric naphtha, and sulfuric gas. And I'm sure these two are important for something. I remember from last time I played with Greg Tech that these guys were all needed for stuff. But at the very least, uh, our first task is taking that diesel and we'll probably just teleport it down here in much the same way we did with Steam. Cool. For now, Doll20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a lot of fun. For now, take it easy.